Hello, Internet. It is I, the Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Today, we're going to be talking about She Said. So, as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons. So, let's get to it. Pros. Uh, so, its reviews are quite good, you know, which is important for the movie because obviously this is an Oscar Beatty movie. I mean, it checks a lot of the boxes, you know, has a relevant topic, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, it's clearly, it's, it's blatant, pretty blatant Oscar bait. <laughs> it's based off a true story, relevant topic. Yeah. This usual Oscar bait stuff. And it's reviews as a 87% critic score, uh, 80% audience score and its cinema score i think was an a i think is an a let me check i'm pretty sure it's an a it is an a okay so word of mouth is not an issue here in like in any sense so word of mouth good across the board from what i'm seeing so word of mouth pro all right just another pro is the shoot. <laughs> I'm re... as you can tell, I'm really struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling badly here because ugh, there's so much I can say for cons, but I guess with a pro is that you know the topic is you know relevant enough. It's been relevant for years. I mean, this whole as you see it with the synopsis. You know, this, you know, the events of this movie, what happens in this movie, it leads to the Me Too movement, which started in 2017 as a result of, you know, Harvey Weinstein, you know, a whole bunch of women accused him of horrific stuff, horrific, you know, sexual acts and favors and stuff like that. And... One thing led to another. A lot of dominoes fell. A lot of careers got wrecked. <laughs> Thanks to Me Too. It's had a massive impact on not just like the world of movies, but just like society as a whole. So obviously everyone knows what, you know, <laughs> you know, knows about what this movie's about. Right. Everyone's aware of what this movie's about. So having a, and it's still relevant even now so having a relevant topic is a good thing when it comes to like a movie like this granted relevant topic didn't help call jane but sometimes it can work sometimes it can't it kind of depends on like the movie it's kind of like a case-by-case -case basis but i don't think having a relevant topic is i'm not saying it's a bad thing i think it Again, case by case, but I'm going to consider it a pro because, you know, it is relevant to a lot of people. So, well, it's, it's a more of a relative pro anyway. Uh, That's it. That is really it. Okay, cons. Here we go. Okay. As I already mentioned, this is obviously positioned as an Oscar bait movie, as an awards flick. That's a problem. Because as you've probably noticed, the last few weeks, uh, a lot of Oscar baity movies have been coming out. Movies like Tar, Till, Banshees, Blah, uh, Call Jam. A lot of these movies have been coming out one after another. And all have done terrible all of them bombed every single one of them not one of them is a success uh which spells doom for a movie like this i mean it's already spelling doom but it really it definitely spells doom like this movie just it stood no chance and so yeah being an oscar bait it seems like oscar bait is box office poison at this point and there is a lot of evidence to back that up. So, yeah, with this movie being Oscar bait. So, Oscar bait, box office poison. That's a con. Oscar bait being box office poison. 
uh, <laughs> at the moment. So that's con number one. Con number two is the same problem that Call Jane had. I mean, sure, it had a relevant topic, but that doesn't mean it's a topic people want to watch on the big screen. <laughs> like, obviously with that movie, you know, abortion, not exactly a move, not exactly the type of, it's not exactly something you want to watch. Like, most people watch movies to escape real world bullshit not to be reminded of real world bullshit and yeah this so that's like a big problem with this it this is all about just real world bullshit (laughs) you know the bullshit that goes on around like hollywood and obviously other industries too and a movie that i could definitely compare this to because it, it goes over the same points pretty much, is a movie called uh, Bombshell. I don't know why in the hell <laughs> Lyle Lyle Crocodile is a comparison. That Someone did that as a joke. I refuse to believe someone... T- <laughs> There's no way... It, it has to be a joke. I refuse to believe it's anything else. Be a Bombshell. This came out in 2019... You know, the pre-pandemic days. Uh, here it is. Yeah, it also evolved around, like, Me Too stuff. But more specifically around uh, Fox News and, like, all the stuff surrounding that. And, you know, Bombshell had a really strong cast. I mean, you got Charlie Theron, uh, Nicole Kidman, Margot Robbie. Big names. Came out in December. Same day as episode 9 of Star Wars and the infamous Cats movie. And it didn't go super well. I mean, it didn't go like horrendous, but it only made like $61 million on like a $32 million budget. Not exactly ideal here. So, so if a movie like this can't do well then what chance does a movie, like she said, what chance does that have? (laughs) Because Bombshell has star power. This doesn't. (laughs) Not at all. Not in the slightest. So, yeah, that's a big problem. But yeah, Bombshell's performance really kind of shows that people really aren't interested in, like, this topic, you know, on the big screen. So, yeah, the whole Me Too topic is, I guess we could consider that box office poison too. So that's another con. Another con is that this movie's coming out the same weekend as uh, The Menu. You know, hilariously, I thought she said would do better than The Menu, like for the longest time, because I was like, oh, she said it's from like Universal and The Menu is just like from a smaller division within you know what that's you know searchlight i was thinking she said we'll probably do better but then as time as the release date came closer and closer yeah like it's clear like which movie has you know more attention <laughs> and it certainly isn't she said and obviously black panther wakanda forever that's obviously still the big thing and then next wednesday we have four movies coming out Fableman, not Fable, yeah, Fableman's, Strange World, Devotion, and Bones and All. So, lots of stuff happening. Obviously, when a bunch of movies are out and about, few of them are going to fall through the cracks. The chances, there's a 100% chance this is going to fall through the cracks. So, yeah, all the movies that are, out, that are out right now and all the movies that are coming out Wednesday, that's a problem. So, I'm going to label that as a con. Too many movies. That's a con. Another con is that his Thursday preview is just downright pathetic. I mean, I know this isn't a movie where it's going to have like a high, you know, Thursday preview number. Because usually movies that have high Thursday preview numbers are like genre flicks or like fanboy flicks or like fangirl flicks. This is not that. I understand that. But I have not seen a preview number this low for a movie in a long time. (laughs) Very long time. I mean, 
You really want to know how bad this is. Uh, like Amsterdam. Let's let's compare it to that. Because Amsterdam is a, a well-documented disaster. But Amsterdam, its Thursday preview was 550,000. More than three times the amount of she said. And Amsterdam was already a disaster. <laughs> so, if that's like what... So, so you can only imagine what... <laughs> she said is gonna make you know judging by how amsterdam did uh so yeah pathetic thursday preview number that's a con big big con there uh another con is that it's pretty obvious universal have more or less given up on this movie because i've barely seen anything when it comes to like a real push. I guess they're putting more of their money into the Fablements. Is the Fablements from Universal? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna check for a quick second. Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. So I feel like it's it's pretty obvious they're putting more of their effort and their money into the Fablements than this because Fablements obviously is Steven Spielberg. <laughs> like, of course, they're gonna put more money into him than this. So, yeah, this movie, like, lack of support is a big con. It's an obvious con. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So, opening weekend, uh, I would have said $5 million if this was, like, two weeks ago. But now, oh, boy, this movie, it wishes it could make that much. It wishes it could make Amsterdam money. <laughs> But it's not. Um, this slow preview number, I don't expect it to be like front load or anything, but I expect a pitiful number. So I think it's going to have a opening weekend of 2 to 3 million. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. I mean, it's only opening like 2,000 theaters, which is not exactly a high theater count coming from like a major studio so that's another sign this movie the universal gave up on it uh so two to three million opening weekend it's total i don't see it surviving after uh thanksgiving at this point um i think by december it's early december it's going to be obsolete it's going to not even exist anymore so i'm going to say I'm going to have a wide range. Its final number is going to be between 5 and 10 million. And yeah, that's it. Another L for <laughs> Universal. It's so weird. They've had so, they've had big hits. They had Jurassic World Dominion, Minions 2. Nope. And then like you have like movies like Easter Sunday, Bros. And now she said all just tanking hard. So, weird. <laughs> Just weird. But, yeah. That's it. That's it for the weekend. Very boring <laughs> weekend, to say the least. They didn't even try. <laughs> no one tried. I mean, I guess Search, like, kind of tried. But, yeah, this weekend was a... It was one to forget. <laughs> but next week is a lot more interesting because it's Thanksgiving. Which means a bunch of movies open at once and they're all hoping to make a, a few dollars to make that, you know, pre-Christmas money. So our four movies are Devotion, Strange World, and we have two movies that are opening that were limited but are expanding wide. Those movies are Bones and All and The Fableman. So four movies opening wide November 23rd. So I'm going to be doing all of those on Wednesday. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for November. That's, that's just it. So yeah, stay tuned for all these movies, you know, my prediction videos for all these movies, because I know I'm going to have a, quite a bit to talk about when it comes to strange world. I don't know. It won't be much when it comes to devotion or bones and all the fatal men's. That'll be an interesting one too. 
but yeah stay tuned for all those but yeah that's it that's all make sure to subscribe like this video leave a comment turn notifications share the whole drill you want to check out more videos like this i got playlists on the home page for all previous um prediction videos i made this year you know for all the movies that came out this year uh when it comes to universal movies i've talked about Quite a few of them. They've had a, a rocky year to say the least. I've talked about their highs and their lows. <laughs> so you want to watch any of the past Universal um, prediction videos like I made this year with you know, movies like Jurassic World Dominion, Minions 2, Nope, Black Phone. How could I forget that? <laughs> that, uh, Bad Guys, Ambulance, Marry Me. 355, um, Easter Sunday Bros, Halloween Ends, any of those. You want to watch any of those? Go right ahead. There's also the Cancelled series where I go over all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't. I I am 100% sure I did not cover She Said Once. Maybe I did in passing. But definitely not directly. So... Yeah, no cancel episode about that. But I've made like 166 canceled episodes right now. So yeah, more than enough to choose from. If you So if you want to watch all of them, go right ahead. I encourage it. Binge it all from beginning to now. Go do it. There's also uh, box office recaps where I go over the box office results for any particular month. Um, November recap will come out. I guess in between the second and the ninth. That's why I think I'm gonna when I'm gonna do it. So pretty much after Violent Night comes out, <laughs> then I will properly judge, you know, the November movies and see how they did compared to my expectations. So um yeah, stay tuned for that. But if you want to watch any of the past um recap videos I've done on the channel, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.